Okay, so uh, IPS here, we're at the uh, National Air Force Museum, U.S. Air Force here in Dayton, Ohio. One thing that I really wanted to see was this blimp, uh, U.S. Army blimp. This was actually sold by the Italians, um, the Roma, and tragically it crashed. So people had lost their lives over it. Now the blimp was actually here in the museum, but it was taken down due to deterioration. Uh, deterioration. So again, you know, in the early years, this was like canvas and shellac and covered over and stuff like that. So it wasn't a lot of, a lot of strength to it. So, you know, very historical tragedy. This was February 21, 1922. Uh, and this dirigible, dirigible, uh, it was quite an important thing at that time because it was pretty lightweight, lighter than air as they referred to it. And this airship was to change the way that uh, the military and the U.S. Air Force were doing their operations and stuff like that. So, very interesting story about this and also very tragic. But for me, the kind of the strong interest is, hey, you know, we had the uh, Norge, uh, which was the Italian blimp. Then went over the North Pole and uh, the Red Tent was a movie that came out of it. And they had a Marconi transmitter on there and Biagi was the RTO, the radio telephone operator for it. Interesting story, an interesting movie. So unfortunately I didn't get to see the real blimp, but anyways we get to see some of the artifacts of it, which is always very interesting.